Now we've had a lot of fun learning Java so far, but we've made every single decision. We want our program to be able to make some of its own choices as well, so it can eventually grow up and move out of the house and get its own job. So we're gonna do this through the if statement. And the if statement's gonna execute a certain piece of code if something is true, if a certain condition is met. So we'll start off in here, I'm inside the main method, I'm gonna make a variable. I'll call it the integer variable x, and I'm gonna assign it a value of five. Now to make the if statement, you just need to use the keyword if. So right keyword if. And now you're gonna go ahead and put brackets. And inside these brackets, you're gonna write what your condition is. And if this condition is true, you're gonna be executing what you're gonna be putting inside of the curly braces that will correspond to this if statement. So say if x is greater than two, then we're gonna be able to execute whatever is gonna be inside of these braces over here. Now we have a lot of curly braces all over the place so just for this video i'm going to go ahead and mark these up i'm going to write start of class over here i'm going to go down here start of main just so we don't get confused you don't have to do this these are comments these are not included in your code start of if statement down here i'll go end of if statement end of main and end of class there we go just so we see what's going on so because there's a lot of curly braces all over the place i don't want you guys to get confused so everything inside of here right this is the one that's corresponding to the if statement everything inside of here will be executed if this statement is true or this condition is true which is x is greater than two and we see that is true over here where we have x is equal to five so we can go ahead and make something in here just to see that the code will be executed so i'm gonna make a printout i'm gonna go ahead and write uh, the if statement its condition is true so we're going to have this printed out on the screen. The if statement's condition is true, if this condition is true. I'm going to go down here outside of the if statement, still inside the main method. I'm going to go ahead and put one more uh, output. I'm just going to write this just so we know that the program is working. Uh, because say we were not to have a, say we were to have a false condition over here and we wouldn't be executing the code inside of our if statement, then you don't really know if your program is working or not because you won't have anything being printed out inside of the console. So just to have something printed out, I'm going to go ahead down here and write the program is running. Just so, just so we can test, right? Just for the sake of demonstrating. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and we can see what's gonna happen. We know that X is five, so that means X is greater than two. And we see that we have the if statements condition is true and then this program is running. So what happens if we were to go ahead and say, if X is greater than 200? Well, now we know it's false, right? Because five is not greater than 200. We'll go ahead and run this and now we're gonna only have that last statement that I put. The program is running. We are no longer executing this piece that's inside of the if statements condition. So that's how if statements work and it's the most simplistic way to have a decision being made inside of your program. Now we're gonna see some other methods of how to do this later on, but this is the most simplistic one that we're gonna start off with. So if you have any questions regarding the if statement, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video.